right what was inside that box is this the clover squad for those who love to create now let's see what is inside this let me guess they have tape on this too oh nope all right let's see what this says join clover squad a club for creators no rules no boundaries just your imagination and quality clover tools clover squad is squad goals how do i join it's easy simply show your clover pride and hashtag clover squad when using your clover tools get automatically entered to win clover prizes each time you hashtag clover squad that's pretty good all righty all right a full set of wonder of wonder nerd man these are awesome for bread and knitting yeah, these are these are awesome. I think these are like making little rubber bands, like bracelets that you see over here. Let's see what else? Oh wow, a tassel maker. A whole bunch of sizes of pom poms. And this is another tassel maker, just a different size. Anything else? Oh yes, some cool paper. I could use that in some more crafts. And. And, yeah, we don't care about that. Alright, now this is so cool. Look at all this stuff. What we got? I mean, I can do a lot with this. I mean, look at this. Like, I mean, maybe I should combine all these and make a really cool project like maybe put some tassels with some pom-poms on them like some small pom-poms like all around it like this and then I could make some of these like doing that that will be really cool hey guys it's Christian here from yarn crafts for kids today we are going to be using the clover tassel maker to make tassel ghosts or ghost tassels this is a super easy project that anyone can do. It's perfect for Halloween decor and your Halloween projects. So let's get started. <music> Supplies you'll need for this project include the clover tassel maker. This is the biggest one. Googly eyes and red heart soft essentials. We're going to use white because we're going to make a ghost today. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take the tassel maker and put it on its tallest setting or the longest, whichever way you want to put it. So unscrew your little screws and you'll see that there are little marks and they should match up and then you're just going to screw them down and you've put it on the largest size. All right. And that's that. All right, so now we are actually going to start making the tassel. So let's take our yarn and just going to set that over there. Going to just put it like right over here on this screw. You might have to unscrew it a little bit to give it a little space underneath. Okay, good. Now, I'm just going to take it up here and start going all like this. Now, the mat, the number of times you go around depends on how thick you want this to be. I'm going to make a ghost. So, we want it to be yeah, pretty thick. And I'd say do around 11 to 15 flaps. Remember, it's going to be twice the size of it is over here. So it's going to be this side and this side. Okay. So once we're done, we are going to take our scissors. And we're going to cut that yarn and put it around the 
other screw. All right, so now we're going to take a little piece of our yarn and cut, cut it right there. And now I'm going to do it as close to the middle as we could possibly get it. Now we are going to double knot it. Now, personally, I like to double knot it so it, so you make sure it does not come out. But you can only tie it once if you would like to. You can tie it as many times as you want. Just keep in mind that this is going to be the very top of the tassel if you do it right. All right. Now we're going to come over here. Yeah, look at that. They, they were so nice. They decided to put this little ridge right there. So, we are going to cut along that ridge. And for both sides. All right. Uh, we've got that those two pieces should be able to stay we have this kind of looks like a little really fancy bow tie so what we're going to do now is we're going to take it like that then cut off another piece of yarn now this is a little tricky but it should be all right you're going to come around here and tie it. And it may take you to a few tries whenever you're first trying to do this. But really, once you have that knot, you don't have to hold it anymore. And you can make your head as big as you want it to. We're going to make it about that big. But make sure you double knot this one. Because there, remember, there's a lot of yarn that you're putting under a lot of tension right there. That should be good. Now, the final step, or at least in the tassel, not counting the googly eyes. We're just going to snip off the bottom, make it look a little nicer. So there, we have made a, a very simple tassel. All right, so now you want to take your tassel and your hot glue gun, and don't forget your little googly eyes. All right, so about right there, it's a giant glob, but it's all right. There's one, and let's go ahead and put on the other one. There we go, that's a little less, that's way better. Go ahead and set that down and put this on. And wait for that to set. Don't forget, kids, you might need to put, to have some adult supervision with the hot glue gun. All right. So there's your ghost. And then just wait and hang it outside on Halloween night and scare all your friends. So that's how you make ghost tassels. Make sure to pick up your clover tassel maker and start making them. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> this is super easy. <laughs> I gotta get off. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get the eyes facing it. Wait, I'm not ready. I have to do the little part first. What part? You know, like the. You can go stop it. So, uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> get that face. <laughs> See you next time. No, I did it back.